Hello community, we have the new Canvas functionality. So I say, okay, can you explain the new Canvas functionality in GPT-4 Omni? And it comes back and says, yeah, okay, allows me to create document creation, document types, interactive editing. Document types is document code and web view HTML content to render within an interactive frame. That's nice. Think of it as a virtual space with substantial pieces of information you can live evolve and yeah canvas here we go but where is the canvas i have not found the canvas yet so i say write a summary of elementary function of multi-agent system okay no canvas so where are they hiding the canvas come on i want to find the canvas this is my very first bloody first view on this and I've read nothing about it. I just know that there is. So sensing is still down there. Okay, this is the explanation of sensing, but this must, no, this is not it. I'm looking here for real canvas, come on. Task execution, decision making, no. Show me the code for a planning agent. Let's go coding, okay. Ah, I have a code canvas, yippee, yeah. Amazing. Now, this is nice. Okay, left and right. Okay, left and right, certainly. Show me the code of a planning agent, certainly. An example of a planning agent, planning agent A store. And here we have the code. Class planning agent, heuristic, get the neighbors reconstructed. Example usage. Hey, great, nice. So I say, great, if I want to build here an optimization, Clearly outline the logical structure. Okay, now I have to code again in Markdown. Okay, so I have to code left and right. Interesting. If you want to know a specific example, yes. And I say, yeah, give me a specific prompt in the canvas. Ah, okay, now I have my prompt optimization example in the canvas. That's the, what's this? Have you seen this? <laughs> okay, write something. Hey, this is cool. I have no idea. This is the first time I see it. Okay. Ask GPT. Hey, what was this? Ask GPT. What? Bold. What? Wait a second. What's happening here? So suggest edits. Adjust the length, reading level, add final polish, add emojis. Add emojis. I want to see the emojis. In the canvas. The, yeah, there are emojis. Oh, come on. That's cute. This is so cute. Check that. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Add final polish. Okay, now comes the final polish. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, we start from you. Okay. Yeah, okay, a nicer layout. Okay, I see what you mean. You see on the left side, we also have here the example of what's happening. The reading level. Keep the current level. Now, what is this? We go down. What's happened? Middle school, kindergarten. Yes, I'm kindergarten. I am at my little kindergarten graduate school. Does it rewrite the text now for... Yes. Wow. Hey, this is fun. Come on. This is, this is nice. You can vary the level of the complexity. Adjust the length. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, longer. Yeah, the longest length possible, please. Uh, this is a cool feature. Nice, so you can have the complexity, the length, the explanation with and without emojis. Cool, now this is here for a document. Look at this. Nice. Okay, what else? Suggest edits. So what suggestion will we get here from GPT-4 Omni? I have no idea, don't ask me. Oh, there's something, one, gone. Ah, I have to go with the cursor, one. Hey, wait a second. Oh, okay. Ah, clarify where the fully utilized means every hour must be used. Okay, if I say apply, what happens? What do you do if I say apply here? Wait a second. At the add the sentence, clarify where the fully utilized. Oh, I see. They pick up here some statements that are not asked clearly. Ask GPT, no, I want to see the canvas. Bold, yeah, let's go bold. Yeah, it's working, it's bold. Cute. We have some fonts. Raw materials, cursive, come on, uh, wrong one. Yes, it's working, look at this. Oh, that's nice if we export this. And, oh, heading one to four. 
This is cute. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go there. Yeah, this is a chapter. Let's go here. Heading one? No, heading two. Yes, it's a bigger one. Nice. Okay, okay. This is this is fun. These are little gadgets, but they, they are funny. This is nice. Okay, so I see what's happening. Do we get an additional text? Yeah, you see, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we have edit, length, clarification. Okay, I see what's happening here. Now, uh, absolutely cute. Come on. And on the left side, you see what's happening every step. Added five comments on the prompt optimization example. Cute. You know, if I shift this a little bit here and I make more place for my canvas, look, I have now all the suggestion also on the uh, real right side. So I see what is ChatGPT providing here. I can apply it immediately. This is nice. So this is a variable length of both windows. Nice idea. Okay. Okay, I got it. I like it. Yeah. And then, can you find me the latest archive preprint and chain of thoughts? So let's go to the internet. Let's have a look at some links. Okay, so if I click here on the link, I hope I will get now to the document. Fatal error. Argument might be truncated or damaged. Yeah, this can happen sometimes. Never mind. Let's just go back. Let's go to the second one. Yeah, here it is. Nice. Okay. So links are working. Can you open your web view in the canvas on this, of the second link? An iframe. Nice. <laughs> An iframe. My goodness, I haven't seen this for years. Okay. But it got here the, uh, the HTTPS link. Okay. Port to a language. Fix the bugs. Add the logs. Add comments. So code has a different menu. Code review. One line of code review, ladies and gentlemen, one line of code review. Consider adding a title, lacks a fullback message. Iframe is is necessary, restricting the iframe dimension by specifying a maximum width. Add loading is lazy. Nice. Okay. Now this is cute. So can you open the PDF file in the canvas? No, unfortunately not. Now this is... Ah, oh, we can go different version. We have versioning. This is nice. Okay. So if I say now here the error message, I've modified the iframe for Google View. Let me know if it works. Does it work? No, it's not working at all. I'm so sorry. Should I ask GPT? No, I say here. I just put in here the message and Directly using didn't work as expected. Some website, yeah, from Archive not be embedded due to security policy. This is true. Yes, I know the security policies. Okay, this is not it. So fix bug, add logs, add comments. So cute for code. It is so unbelievable. Okay, we know this. Oops, we already know this. Yeah, come on. Okay, added five comments. Yeah, but this is not what we are looking for here. Look, if we close the canvas, we have on the top, we have three. See, do you see the indicator with three? Let's click on this. Those are our three canvas of this session right now. So let's go to the code canvas here at the very first one, the planning agent A star. Code review, port to a language. You know what? We port to a language. So let's, we have, we have Python, we have C++, we have PHP, yeah, Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, Java. C++, let's go. Really? Does it just port to C++? Nice. Look at this. Nice. Now, this is a nice version here. Just here on your screen. I've rewritten the planning agent in C++. Let me know if you need further assistance. Add log, fix box, code review. Let's do a code review here on C++. Is this possible? Yeah, look, consider using more descriptive comments to explain. And on the left side, we see five comments. So two, three, four, five, five comments. Absolutely beautiful.